Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to share with you how we're going to turn these beautiful peppers into beef stuffed peppers like this. I'm so excited about this one. This recipe is so easy, delicious, and your house is going to be smelling so aromatic. I cannot wait to share it with you. Let's get started. Inside the mixing bowl, I have 80-20 beef and we have about two and a half pounds. So you want a teaspoon of salt per pound of beef. So we're going to do two and a half teaspoons here. Next, I'm going to add the ground black pepper and I want to do about a teaspoon and a half for two and a half pounds of beef. But this is really to your liking, depending on how spicy you would like it to be. During the editing process of this video, I realized you can see our warped images in here. I have my little one taking the footage while I do all the ingredient mixing. Next, I'm going to add one head of onion that I've already processed in my processor and I'm going to include the onion and the juices to the meat. Here I have some paprika and now I'm going to add about a teaspoon to a teaspoon and a half of that to my meat mixture. What makes this dish very flavorful are all the herbs we're going to add. We're going to start off with the mint. I have a palm full of that. I'm going to throw into the meat mixture. Now I'm going in with some tarragon. Again, it's the same thing, another palm full. The beauty about this dish is you can really heighten the tastes that you love the most. So if you like the mint more, do more mint. If you like tarragon more, you can do more tarragon, whatever you like. Next, I'm going to include some parsley, another palm full of that. You can also use fresh herbs if you like for this dish. Up next is basil. I'm just going to use whatever I have in the jar. And a palm full of oregano. I haven't even started cooking this and it smells so wonderful in the kitchen. This part is completely optional. I'm using just a little bit of citric acid because I love the tang that it gives to the dish, but you can definitely substitute this with fresh lemon, which I actually will be using for the dish as well. It's really up to you. I'm gonna do about a third of a cup of rice and we don't need to wash this um, at this point in time. We're just gonna go ahead and put it in the dish. Now I'm going to grate about two to three cloves of garlic. I have eight ounces of tomato sauce in here and I'm going to do about four ounces into the meat mixture, reserve the rest for later. Now for the fun part, I'm going to mix everything together until everything is well combined. Now that the meat mixture is ready, I'm going to prep the peppers. I've already washed them and this is the easy way about doing it. So about half an inch from the top of the pepper, take your knife and go straight through and then with your hand, twist off the seeds. If you have remaining seeds within the pepper, you can wash it out. We have our meat mixture ready and the peppers all ready to go. I'm going to take over the camera now and my little one who loves stuffing the peppers is going to take over. We have a pot ready to go for all the stuffed peppers and we're just going to stuff it all the way to the top of the pepper and then put it into the pot. You can use a spoon to stuff the peppers or even better, your clean hands. This dish is all about a flavor punch. So instead of putting the peppers into the pot of water for it to simmer away while it cooks, we're going to create another layer of flavor by creating a sauce. So I have a measuring cup with the remaining of the tomato sauce from the eight ounce can that I had. You can add more or less. You can also add tomato paste and pepper paste in here, whatever you'd like. But I'm gonna keep it simple by mimicking the same herbs and spices that I used in the meat mixture. But instead of doing a whole palm full or so of each herb, I'm going to keep it pretty simple and do one teaspoon per herb per spice. Now I'm going to add some boiling water to the mixture and stir it in slowly and then we're going to pour this over the peppers. 
In total, I have just about less than four cups of the mixture in here. I'm going to drizzle a little bit of oil to the bottom of the pot as well as onto the peppers just to make sure nothing really sticks to the bottom of the pot. Before I pour in the mixture, I'm going to grate a couple cloves of garlic. I apologize, I also added the juice of one lemon in here and I did not catch it on film. Now I'm going to take that yummy mixture and pour some onto the bottom of the pot and then we're going to start pouring it into the peppers. So what this is going to do is ensure more flavorful beef, more tender beef, as well as it's going to aid in the cooking of the rice. Now because we want enough liquid in here for everything to cook, I'm going to add additional boiling water to the pot just about to the rim of the pepper. Cap off the peppers and bring the mixture to a boil. Once the mixture is boiling, cover it up and let it cook for about 35 minutes until it's fully cooked. I love my little one singing in the background. And here is the final product. Wow, just check out the beautiful colors on these. It's so vibrant and beautiful, and this dish certainly makes a wonderful presentation, certain to wow the crowd. Now, let me show you what the inside looks like. I just took it out of the pot, and it's still steaming hot, but here we have the beef. You can see all the wonderful herbs that we used, and the rice is fully cooked. Look how tender the beef is. It's literally fork tender, and it's very juicy because we have the sauce within the pepper that cooked everything up and it is just divine and yummy. This dish also pairs up very well with some French baguette. If you have that at home, warm it up in the oven and give it a big dip in the sauce. You're going to love it. I hope you guys like this video. Give it a big thumbs up if you do. Comment down below. Share it with a family or a friend. All these actions help with the growth of the channel. Thank you so much. Take care. See you again soon.